big thing that really has me most alarmed is social media. It's trite to say, you know, we all know it. We all know that the internet and social media allows us to confirm everything we want. You know, it's the biggest gift to confirmation bias ever. We all know that. But I only really came to appreciate it viscerally. Um, it was the week before the election. And I, because I follow on Twitter, I follow a lot of people on the left and the right. And right next to each other, literally next to each other, was a video that a, a black journalist had taken of a stupid white guy with a baseball cap. There, there was some traffic altercation and he's just yelling the N-word at him. He's berating. It's just horrible to see. And then you look at the comments on that. And of course, people watching this video are absolutely horrified. And how can those people vote for Trump? And it's, you know, it's all about how incredibly, unbelievably awful and evil all those people are on the other side. And then right below that was a tweet about a Yale student who, for her art project, she got herself pregnant uh, about five or six times with artificial insemination. Then she induced abortion and she used the bloody fetus in her art project. You know, it's the equivalent of, of the other one for the left. Now, it was a true story. It so happens that it was in 2009, but that doesn't matter. On the internet, it doesn't matter. It's just like it was presented as this year. You look at the comments, and again, it's like, these people are monsters. The left is just sick, sick, sick. And, you know, and I realized when I was young, I was always on the left. When I was young and I was a teenager in my 20s, every month there would be a new awful thing about the Republicans. And we'd all talk about how awful the Republicans were. And then next month there'd be another scandal. And now, you know, it's, it's every minute. You know, so if anybody uses the N-word or paints a swastika somewhere in Peoria, Illinois, everybody on the left is going to see it and be outraged by it and vice versa. So I think this is our new national emergency. I think we need to be educating our children beginning in grade school for just how perilous and difficult democracy is and how much humility is needed. We need to be teaching cognitive psychology. We need to be teaching psychology for democracy, teaching humility, giving people exposure to the best ideas on both sides.